What is up family? Anthony here yet again with another Consuming Fire Ministry video. I am going to continue to pump out these videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. And it is my prayer that when you come back, on Thursday or Monday that you are going to have a video that is going to bless you. I allow the spirit of God just to flow in my heart and to give me words that I may encourage you so that you can get up and continue your fight against the enemy. So that way we can help others who need it right today. We're going to need something very vital that is going to help us do that. And the Apostle Paul, his letter to the Ephesians, specifically Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, where Paul describes the armor of God. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. Let's get into it. Paul writes to the early church under the shadow of the Roman Empire, inspiring them to stay resilient and true to their faith. As he describes the armor of God, Paul is speaking about spiritual resources and qualities that believers can use to stand strong against spiritual opposition. The first piece of armor Paul mentions is the belt of truth. In the Roman soldier's attire, the belt held the rest of the armor together. It ensured mobility and agility. As Christians, our bout of truth is the understanding of God's word and the teachings of Christ. It is the foundation upon which the rest of our spiritual armor is built. It strengthens us against deceit, misinformation, and discouragement. Our faith must be wrapped in the truth of God's love, His promises, and His righteousness. The second piece is the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate protected a soldier's vital organs, especially the heart. In a spiritual sense, righteousness protects our hearts, the core of our being, our emotions, desires, and will. Our righteousness is not of our own doing, but is a gift from God through faith in Jesus Christ. It's the righteousness that shields us from the accusations and guilt that can attack our hearts. Next, Paul speaks about the readiness given by the gospel of peace as shoes for your feet. Roman soldiers wore sandals with spikes to maintain their footing. Our readiness to spread the gospel of peace ensures we don't slip or lose our grounding. It is a reminder to carry the good news of God's love wherever we go, helping others to find the solid ground of faith. Paul then describes the shield of faith. In battle, a Roman soldier's shield was large enough to cover their entire body, providing protection from arrows and swords. Our faith, our trust in God and His promises is a shield that protects us from doubts, worries, and fears that life throws at us. It guards us from the fiery darts of the adversary, those unexpected trials and tribulations that may come our way. Paul tells us about the helmet of salvation. A soldier's helmet protected his head, a critical part of the body. Our salvation, the assurance that we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, protects our minds from doubt about our salvation, fear of death, or feelings of unworthiness. Lastly, we have the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Unlike other pieces of armor that are primarily defensive, the sword is both defensive and offensive. It's used to deflect the enemy's attacks and to counterattack. The Word of God in our lives serves as a similar purpose, equipping us to resist temptation and lead others to Christ. Paul concludes with the exhortation to pray. Prayer is what activates our armor and embeds us with the power of God. It is through continual fervent prayer that we draw our strength from God to be able to stand firm. The armor of God isn't physical armor, but a spiritual one. It's an armor built on truth, righteousness, readiness to share God's word, faith, salvation, and the spirit and prayer. Each day, we must deliberately put it on, readying ourselves for the challenges we may face. The armor isn't for show or merely for defense. 
It's to enable us to stand firm in our faith, resist temptation, and help others find their way to Christ. Each component is equally essential and they work together to create a spiritual armor that protects us and guides us in our journey with Christ. Our spiritual armor is not just for us. It equips us to be God's ambassadors, leading others to His grace. As Paul has written, we should pray always, praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. But let's remember that the armor doesn't make us invincible or immune to life's struggles. It provides us with resilience and strength to withstand these challenges. It gives us the assurance that with God, no trial is insurmountable. Also, bear in mind that the armor of God is not one-time attire. It's something we need to consistently put on every single day. For each day brings its battles. It's like the manna in the wilderness renewed each morning for the Israelites. Let's not forget that this battle is not ours alone. We are part of a broader community, a spiritual army, the body of Christ. We must therefore bear each other's burdens, family, strengthen one another, and pray for each other. To put on the full armor of God means to fully immerse oneself in the love and teachings of Christ. And in so doing, live a life worthy of His calling. It's a daily commitment to uphold truth, walk in righteousness, and share the gospel of peace. It's having faith that shields us, salvation that renews us, and the word of God that guides us. In conclusion, fam, the armor of God is not about fighting a physical battle, but a spiritual one. It's not about promoting conflict, but about standing firm in peace, truth, and righteousness, and upholding the love of Christ in the face of adversity. As we go out into the world this week, let's remember to put on our spiritual armor and walk confidently in the knowledge that with God on our side, we are more than conquerors. And as we wear our armor, let our lives be a testament to the power and love of God, encouraging others to also embrace the protection the peace, and the power that the armor of God provides. Paul is teaching us something very important. The armor of God is something that we need to remember to put on when we wake up in the morning, or when we go out, or when we go to work, or whatever it is that we do. Every single day, we should be putting on this armor, because this armor is going to help us stand firm. I just gave you here a word that is very powerful, and I pray today that you would allow this word to penetrate your heart. The Holy Spirit wants to speak to you. The Holy Spirit wants to help you and strengthen you. So today, if you would open up your heart, you would hear the words of God, and you would know that He is knocking on the door of your heart, and He wants you to be prepared for the battle that He's called you to be prepared for. Remember, it's all about ministry. It's it's all about equipping others. It's all about being there for others. But in order for us to do this, we have to make sure that we are protected because we are the ones going out there and ministering this word. And God does not leave us without his armor. Thank you for watching today. Always know that God loves you and always know that I love you and that I'm here for you and that whatever it is that you need, any prayer request, you want to talk, whatever it is, just let me know and I will do my very best to help you. And if you do like these type of videos, then consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have not liked this video, then please do so. Remember that God provides with us this armor so that we will not be left without it. We need God in our lives. Get into your words on a daily basis and continue to fight the good fight of faith. Thank you for watching and always remember God loves you. God bless.